because I was so caught up in the, in the gang life and being on the streets, running around. I had no time to hear anybody out. I was angry and wanted, I wanted to go with people that would recognize my anger. I felt empty. I felt alone. I felt no one had my back. I, I remember I had to ask my mom, what happened? What'd you do? Why'd you leave us like that? These are the reactions of hurt people. And that's what I am, a hurt person. I walked in and I walked out because I was so nervous. I couldn't handle what the atmosphere that was here. Healing is not just, you just arrive. It's a journey and it's, it's constant work. I stopped being who I was and I started changing little by little. Sometimes you have to leave, leave your barrio, like move out and explore other things. That's the struggle. I mean, I see my old friends, I see a lot of a lot of the old people that I used to see around there. It's not about forgetting where you came from. You, you have to remember where you came from, but you can't attach yourself to it. It's letting go. We're not used to that. We're not used to being received with love and compassion and, and kindness and kinship. The minute you begin to love yourself and you get a taste or a sense of the healing, then you're able to dream again. Once I have my kids, it's like, they help me so much, like, and I tell my kids that because they're old enough to understand. And I tell them, like, do you guys know you guys helped your mom change herself? You know what I'm saying? And it's really the truth. You know? What do I want? That's the question that you wake up yourself to every morning. What do I want to be now? I still don't know where I'm going. I, I don't know where I'm going. But I know it will be in a good direction.